This is Sparky's Kitchen again, and I just wanted to say that our refrigerator and freezer went out, and Sears is going to come running and fixing it in six days. So for six days, uh, we have got to figure some things out. So one of the things uh, that I'm doing is uh, I took out of the freezer two gallons of frozen tomatoes and I put them in uh, freezer bags. I um, had two gallon freezer bags and uh, I, I just core them, leave the skin on them and then um, I can make juice or I can take and I can just throw the tomato in the spaghetti sauce um, or if you want to put it in vegetable soup or whatever and the skin comes off comes to the top so anyhow what I'm doing is I am using a very large spaghetti pot and I got the oven set at 200 degrees and it's been in there about an hour and 20 minutes so far. It's reduced down about half. So pretty soon I'll be able to go ahead and put it on top of the stove. This way I don't have to worry about it burning. And um, I'll just leave it in there for another 45 minutes, maybe a total of two hours and uh, then I will start the process of making the juice and freeing up some space in the freezer. Uh, luckily we have another refrigerator freezer so that really uh, helps a lot. So um, anyhow uh, my tip, my turtle tip today is uh, it's very very hot outside you want to take your hand and you want to feel the water. You want to make sure that your turtle uh, water is out of the sun in a good shady cool spot as best you can do on this heat or bring your turtles in if you want to be super safe so they don't cook to death in this uh, 90 plus heat. This is a temp gun that you can use or you can just use your hand. Make sure that water's cool, that your turtle don't get in hot water and try to um, deal with it. Uh, and one other little tip, this is our one and only potato from the garden from a voluntary plant uh, and it has green on it. So they say don't eat potatoes um, that has the green on it so that one little lone potato we won't be eating. That's all. Uh, this is phase two of the um, uh, making tomato juice. As you can see that it was all the way up here. I had it in the oven. I ended up having it in the oven for uh, around three hours or so. It doesn't really matter. It's a low heat. It's just the purpose of that is to defrost the tomatoes, get some juice going so then you can put it on the stove. So now the next step is uh, you want to take and you want to simmer it on the stove uh, and um, until you get it uh, where it can go through a um, sieve. You want to have it softened up good, which it is now. I've simmered it on the stove. So you just simmer it to the point where you can take and you can easily stomp it through. There's other ways of doing it, squeeze, so that squeeze or whatever it is, which I have, but I like my old stomper to stomp it through. So there is the next phase. You just take and you keep doing that until you run, run all of your tomatoes through. And then you end up dumping after you get so much pulp in here. Then you just dump that out. My handle broke off this. I'd love to get another one of these. And then you just take and empty all that, clean all that off, and you just stomp it all through. And there you have the nice, and then you also want 
to say that nice part of it there. You scrape that off into the um, juice. Okay, that's phase. That's the next phase. Okay. Okay, this is down to the final product except for the lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice that I'm going to use. Uh, I've got about five quarts here. Uh, I measured measured it in this, and it come to more than five and a little more than five and a half quarts, but it cooks down. So then I use the fresh lemon juice, uh, the very last here. So I'm going to use approximately uh, a teaspoon per um, quart. So there's a tablespoon, and actually it's about two tablespoons, don't hurt anything, it's tasty. So then, uh, I need um, the, uh, the salt that doesn't have, it says this does not supply iodine, that's what they say to use for candy. So I have that already ready to go and I just use a half a teaspoon they call for a whole a whole teaspoon per quart I use a half a teaspoon so there that's the two things that you need and this has been cooking for around 20 minutes on a low um, you know you just want it slightly bubbling you don't want to be boiling really heavy just you want to have it hot and a low a low boil so now this here, I'm not going to be canning. I'm just getting these jars hot uh, because I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and they're going to be used up within a week. Um, so then what you do is uh, you just dip them in. You just dip uh, your tomato juice in a hot jar. You don't want any kind of draft, any cold air hitting your jars. It can crack your jars. So you just fill about an inch from the top. And then you just wipe off around the edges. And I'm just using what I've used I've already used these, but these are just going to go in the refrigerator. Sometimes they seal, sometimes they don't. I'm going to put a date on it. But this, um, when you're canning, all of this, you know, you just use your new lids. And it's the same principle this way. But you can also take and cool this tomato juice and freeze it in quart size uh, zip bags, freezer bags. Okay.